What is good guys? We're back here today. I got another video today. Short little video. I'm not alone. I'm here with Professor Dr. Pokeaim. Now, we got a vid today talking about Terastalize. Now, I actually haven't done any videos on Terastalize uh, since the, you know, the new mechanic was revealed to us a few months back. But now that we got all the information, including its move, the Terra Blast moves, base power, and all that stuff, I figured, you know what? Let's make a video on it discussing its potential with all the Pokemon that we have. You know, we got a lot of new Hisuian Pokemon dropping down. I put some regular OU guys like Landers, Heatran, Dragonite, and I'll put other ones as well, just so we can kind of theory them on, you know, how Terrastalize will work. So I don't expect this video to be too long. I got Joe with me here as well because, you know, he's yeah. full of them good ideas. Uh, and yeah, Terrastalize is really just the crazy new mechanic for the it's, new it's generation. Crazy. Yeah. I, f I feel like we, um, a lot of people were saying this in comments, like, you guys weren't even talking about this Pokemon having coverage with Terra Blast and Terrastalizing, but I feel like we're just in our heads already expecting it to be banned. Literally. So we're not even if taking you, it if into account. If you guys account. look at the screen right now, you see what I have, this funny image, the, uh, someone in my Discord made this for me, Shahas the Pod, it's called, it's just, he made his own Terrastalize thing, and this is like an idea of what it could be. Look at this. He tried Terrastalize into the flying type, Landers tried to EQ, he failed. Terra, Terra Blast KO'd Landers in response. So obviously this is kind of like a funny exaggeration, but I mean, we're probably going to see things like this uh, in the first few weeks as long as Terra Blast is around. So for those of you who don't know what Terra Blast is uh, by now, basically your Pokemon changes into a pure typing of any type you want. And you just have to pick that previous to the game starting. Correct, Joe? It's basically like picking your hidden power or having your hidden power before. So you can't change it during the middle of the game, mm -hmm. but uh, you have access to it. So yeah. it's it's pretty nasty. Like, I mean, the example he's trying flying, I don't think that's super likely, <laughs> but grass is an option. For yeah, sure, exactly. For sure. It'll get turned into a grass type, which is, yeah, you're completely right because you wouldn't take super effective damage from EQ and you'd resist water too. Exactly, exactly. So, like, those are just some options as well, mm -hmm. like, that Heatran could easily do. I think that it's pretty big. Um, a lot of people think that it's so great defensively, too, but I think the the scary part is the offensive potential of it, right? Absolutely. Like, yeah, you don't have you don't have Gyarados there, but Gyarados has benefited Wait, from... Wait, you're right. Mega Gyarados Evolution. was, like, the yeah. reason Dynamax is broken. I just put Dragonite because he's, like, yeah. the quintessential sweeper, but you're totally right. Exactly, but, yeah, Gyarados is literally, like, it's benefited from everything, right? We had Megas, mm -hmm. we had Dynamax, uh, we had Z-moves. Gyarados benefited from it all. And then obviously terrestrializing is pretty crazy too because yeah. this Pokemon can just become a ground type if it want to have exactly. that stab versus tox effects and even uh, oh, the immune. And I forgot pressure. to say, guys, you also retain your original two stab moves. So say your Gyarados was going to terrestrialize into uh, I don't know, say just say a Steel type for example. Well, you would become a pure Steel type, meaning you're now weak to fire, ground, uh, fighting, etc. However, your Gyarados will now have stab. Steel move with its Terra Blast, which will be a physical 80 base power steel move, which again, you have stab on, so technically it's 120. And your Gyarados will still have stab on its water type move and its flying type move. Effectively, your Mon has triple stab power, but is only one pure typing. So it's like the best of both worlds. Why would you want to be multiple typings? The best defensive typing are some are like steel plus another one or like pure steel. So I think Terrastalized Steel is going to be the shit we see for offensive guys like anything. Yeah, Steel. I mean, Steel makes a lot of sense. For uh, sure. I think Gyarados easily makes, uh, takes advantage of ground, though. Like, I don't no, no, no. I agree with you on ground because who doesn't want to stab Earthquake? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, or even... I, so, I, you, this is the one thing I don't know. Like, do I have to use Terra Blast on the Pokemon if I terrestrialize it? Or can I go Earthquake and just use a stronger move? Right? But yeah. I, either way, for Gyarados, it's big because, again, uh, you can set up in front of... It's like, remember when you Mega Evolve Gyarados in front of a Psychic uh, spamming layer? Sure, sure, and sure. And you're immune to its attacks type of thing. So, it's definitely... Well, I can see uh, Terra Blast sort of Electric being really good, too. Uh, you can, oh, yeah. you can, you electric can, isn't bad at all. Yeah, yeah. You can hit other... Uh, water types, you hit other Gera, you snipe Skarmory, Corviknight, and I'm just thinking about the bulky waters in general, I think this could be really yeah, valid. Yeah, it's just, it's very, it's very strong versus yeah, that Yeah, so right? that, that's just one option. I know I was talking with uh, CTC about uh, Dragonite Salamence, for example. Uh, what are these things always stopped by when they Dragon Dance? Clefable. Well, what if you terrestrialize into a Steel type? And then yeah. you just have your, and, then, and then that steel I mean, that steel coverage lets you hit fairies too. Don't even have to be a steel type. You could terrestrialize into a flying type. So when you go from Fuck dragon it, flying you're right. to flying, and then you get that you, double stab on your exactly. Oh exactly. no, the, the because dual wing beats no already the same base blast. power and you, as exactly, terrestrialize. And, you're no, and you're no longer weak. Oh to no, yo, look at this set. 
Yeah, you just run that exactly plus earthquake plus whatever. Roost and then roost become a no typing. Well, well, roost is APP, but yeah. I, it don't I, matter. I, You're no typing though, right? So no super effectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, so. Joe! I think you just got yourself banned from Gen Nine. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> This is actually an evil set. I actually didn't think about this because, guys, also, if you want to Terra Blast into a typing that you already are, well, you get double stab on that. So then Dragonite now basically, it's what? It's like 160 base adapt, power? It basically has adaptability. Yeah, it so, it's, adaptability. so it's 160 base power now, right? Something like that. Yeah, whatever instead of it's 120. Like a, it's but, like a two times multiplier instead of whatever. Yeah, is. exactly. Yeah, so anyways, the shit is strong. Bottom line, guys, it's an extremely strong stab move. Uh, that dragon I would get to spam or you know whoever you know you can do the same thing with Gyarados same thing with uh any Pokemon really um so offensively Terrastalize is really I mean that's really the way you want to go right you want to go for the quickest sweep possible yes you have to pick your Terrastalize before the battle which we can argue is a a little bit more competitive than if you were to able to decide it during the battle but regardless it doesn't seem likely to me that something like this would stay on one hand uh Actually, do you have to have an item to Terra Blast or no? Oh, dude, that's no item, right? Thing, yeah, bro. then this is just too much, man. Like I could run this with a life orb. Yeah, it's, it's just boots, too obviously. much. If like, mons like Dragonite and Gyarados can continue to run heavy duty boots and take advantage of this, this is so fire. I cannot wait to abuse this for the first couple of weeks. Yeah, um, before it gets suspect tested. For uh, yeah, suspect tested there. and super banned. The thing is, I expect Terra Blast to survive for a little bit longer than Dynamax at least because it's less obviously broken i think because the move itself is still pretty weak however i don't know i keep having nightmares of heatran terrestrial less into flying type and killed landers oh. i'm telling you we're gonna I, have again, shit I, like this again I, I feel like it's gonna be interesting because like we're gonna have like the top dogs right like Garrett, for sure Dragon, for sure D so dragon dance and speed like boost in general is always gonna be king with these exa types of mechanics exactly, exactly so then you're gonna have like pokemon like feral thorn or whatever's in there right mm -hmm. like let's assume let's assume feral thorns in the game sure yeah pokemon like feral thorn uh, who will terrestrialize to if, if the best pokemon is heatran with a fire move yeah Thorn will terrestrialize to a water type right or something like that yeah right just so we can get this it can still terra blast because feral has good attack right but it could also lead oh, to it too blast. so i think that while it's i mean it's obviously incredible offensively but defensively it'll be okay mm -hmm. i just think that the offense just overwhelms it's kind of like because you can't <laughs> defensive dynamax uh, because the way like defensive dynamax yeah exactly works, defensive right? dynamax only works when you're trying to stall out another player's dynamax exactly and on top of that it only works because you got double your hp exactly so, this isn't no double your hp this is a very niche thing what if you don't even run into heatran then you wasted your terra blast which is very bad you really wasted your time then yeah i think yeah, you're gonna like, always want to go an offensive route that's on pot that's what i'm thinking too like i mean some guys like Heatran, for example, they could go for like the one-time nuke because they're very strong, but purely defensive stuff like Ferrothorn, Pex, Clefable, all of them, I really think you're wasting your time terrestrializing them. First off, so they too. have a great typing for the defenses that they... I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grass Steel is really good. Like, yeah. You have two weaknesses. You have e weaknesses. Exactly. And Water Poison is really good too, just because water is naturally good. Maybe Toxapex could just become pure water. The ability then, to, to use Triple Stab is like out of this world uh like in this game like just i'm just thinking of all the different potential things you can do like so like much so much mons have amazing coverage with two moves but if you gave them three move coverage and gave them the stab well then that's all they need really look at reggie lucky right reggie lucky has one move and it's incredible with yeah that, right you give it you give it terror blast ice and look what just happened literally so literally the, the Even I would use like, I would use any Terra Blast because it's just coverage, you know? Like Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I think Game Freak wants to move towards a more offensive metagame, whether it be for doubles, battles. They are totally three, favoring know, singles, that's for damn sure. Uh but, with, but, but, with but, some but of these changes. Yeah, yeah. The battle stadium three v three singles is what I'm thinking. No, no, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I just mean as a whole, like singles, they definitely have it in their eyes. Uh regardless of the singles it, format in mind, they're definitely helping singles, which I like a lot. Um Yeah, I mean I'm even looking at some of the new Hisuian forms, guys. So Terra Blast, if you saw when I was posting it, it's an 80 base power move. It uses your higher attack stat, uh, so it's a special attack or a physical attack. So you don't have to worry about it being like a purely special attack the way Hidden Power was. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even Hisuian guys will be able to benefit from this a lot. Uh, I know Lilligant, me and CTC were hoping he had uh, Rock Slide, right? To take care of yeah. the flying types. Yeah. But I mean, who gives a fuck? I'll just run Terra, Terra Blast Ice. Literally, which is better because it doesn't miss. Literally, best, and better. Terra Blast Ice doesn't miss, and it's gonna Oko other like, or I run, uh, I don't know, Terra Blast Rock, you know, Old Faithful, and then I'll, I snipe Volcarona too. 
I think what I like about this metagame is that, I mean, we've seen everything, right? We're not really talking about leaks, but we've seen everything and everything's crazy and everything's offensive. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. even if this stuff gets banned, I don't think it can become like what Sword and Shield became. I believe that this metagame oh. with what's been revealed, stall is not going to be bad and stall will actually have a time in this metagame where it's great. But I think it's been gutted so hard that offense is never not going to be the best in this metagame, especially given what we've been revealed so far. But Honestly, the biggest, the biggest nerfs are to balance. Yeah, because yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. Um, so we're going to see it. Like, obviously, we have to let the metagame develop a little bit and see what's next. But in my opinion, Terrastalize, it might be a little a little too strong. Um, I'm just really, really excited by it. Like, I'm sorting these Pokemon through OU, and a lot of the setup guys are just going to be so much fun to abuse. Like, what if I have my Excadrill under the sand and I Terrastalize into a super ground type? I EQ your shit. You're done. You're done. You're done. Imagine Scarf Moldbreaker Drill with a double EQ strength. Can you imagine? You're cooked. Oh, it'd be it'd be insane. It'd be insane. I, I'm, like, yeah, I'm, the double the double attack giving any Mon uh quick uh, uh what's the word adaptability is bullshit. You know, um, the auto adaptability is pretty is pretty bullshit. I think. I feel like that's like the biggest thing that's gonna that's gonna end up getting banned. <laughs> and like you can't like you said you can't defensive tear to like. Remember you it's like a mega Pokemon, right? So yeah. you end up keeping that mon that type the entire time Which could you know if you don't auto win, right? Let's assume you don't auto win Yeah, now your Garchomp is steal the entirety of the game. So you can't bring it in on, on heat train, move, right? Yeah exactly. So there are <laughs> if, if it, for some reason it's not crazy, which I, I can't see it not being crazy. sure sure if, if it wasn't permanent reason, I could have seen it not being crazy. We'll see though Yeah but I hope one, just... in such a way that it the metagame is so fucking offensively geared that they do keep it, but we'll see. I'm hopeful. Regardless, guys, we're going to get a lot of time to test this out when the game does drop because it does take a while to, you know, make all these tiering decisions. But with that, I think that's all, really. I don't think we need to make this too long. We kind of got our point yeah, across that offensive mons are the best. Uh, the setup, specifically Dragon Dance, which has been the best setup move for 80 years. Well, you know, Quiver Dance still, you know, stuff like Volcarona can definitely uh, change into a specific type to muscle pass. In terms pass, of wildly counter. distributed and stuff, yeah. it's for sure been uh, Dragon Dance that's been... Nah, definitely, there. definitely, definitely. Um, I was just saying in terms of, uh, like, performers on the special side that can take advantage of Terra Blast, I think Volcarona is a pretty good one. Oh, 1,000%. One, 1, yeah, 1,000%. 1, I think this guy can really take advantage of that Terra Stylizing... You can really tear stylize anything. You can become ground, uh, still hit Pex and Heatran. Yeah. This thing will be heat. But, uh, yep. It doesn't, it doesn't need anything. Yeah, look. Ground is all it needs. Yeah, ground is all it needs. It covers, covers everything. Until I terrestrialize Rock, actually. And then I beat your Dragonite while also walling your Dragonite. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's take an Earthquake and take 10,000 damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the GOAT. I can't wait for this. But hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like. Go check out Joe as well. He's been posting a lot of new amazing videos on Gen 9 News. Highly recommend you check him out. Give this bit yeah. a big like. I'll probably stream later tonight talking about Gen 9 and stuff, but it'll be pretty late. So tap in. Go check that out. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. Peace.